Hello, and thank you for stopping by. I'm Master Lama Risaji, and this is Risaji Speaks, our spiritual Saturday episode. What you see behind me today are ancient Tibetan prayer wheels for the Taoist prayer wheels. These are very similar to the prayer wheels that we had uh, in the Lama Siri in Tibet. Uh, in our Lama Seri. So it's exciting that Andy did this for me. And thank you, Andy, for all the great things that you do for us. Andy's our webmaster, and he's the architect of what we do. Today, Lama G is going to read from his new book called The Circle of Chi, which also is the Ascension edition. And we share some of the lineage of Tai Chi Gong. You can get this in our store. And uh, I think that's really pretty cool. So I'm going to read from page 14 to about, let me see, to about 17. And the title of this segment is When Boganathar is Emperor Chen has passed away and Boganathar is getting ready after his training to leave China and head to Tibet to finalize his teachings. So let's begin. He says, then, of course, on the way out that he begins to write the famous book called the I Ching. And then he starts talking about the angels in the Himalayas. They're speaking about Boganarthar. So he treks up through Nepal. Then he goes through Nepal and he begins to hear about this great being, one of the Siddhas called Gorthneth, that the Judean Bible scriptures knows this person as Melchizedek that is spoken in Genesis, and then Paul relates again about him in his epistle to Hebrews, his brethren, who has a huge following in Nepal, according to other Siddhas that I've been in communications with in this lifetime alone. Uh, Gorthness had well over a million followers in Nepal alone. As a matter of fact, he finds out that this being had produced a cherry blossom tree that would actually produce flowers constantly all year round so that children in the area could sell the flowers to produce income for their poverty-stricken homes. Could you imagine a cherry blossom tree manifesting even in the snow? Now that's something to watch, right? He continues up through Nepal into a little area in a village they call Darchin. And in Darchin, about 50 to 60 miles north of the Nepal-Tibetan border, where he finds a mountain. It is a small mountain. It looks like a king's crown. Emperor Chen would feel comfortable being here, he thought. He sees the big mountains and Mount Everest in the background, and he says, I will put myself here and begin to meditate. For the next four to five decades, he goes into meditation. And in meditation, the angels of the Himalayas appear to him and they show him how the energy of the day goes up from the tailbone through the spinal column. And by one to three o'clock in the afternoon, the energy comes up over the top of the head and comes down the root of his nose. At about three o'clock in the afternoon, the energy continues to descend. He refers to this anchoring flowing of energy up the spine as the solar yang energy. 
Then going down the top of the head is the lunar yin descending energy or chi, as in the circle of chi or tai chi go. Today, acupuncture physicians from all over the world say that this is the major vessel that develops in a mother's womb before the fetus is formed. They call it the governing vessel or section and the conceptional section. As the energy hits a newly pregnant woman, this energy field forms first. He says, I will honor this field. Snow began to pour more and more. The winters got colder and colder. The nights much, much colder. And he said, I will need to learn to make my chi, my intrinsic energy of God, so strong that I can experience the four seasons of nature when Mother Nature is not delivering it. He took his meditation even deeper and he realized that he could control the energy in such a way to heat his body up. As the snow began to fall, steam perspired off his body itself. The snow where he was sitting, it began to melt all around him. He said, this is the Dumo. This is the fire in the belly. And if you have eternal fire in the belly, the body can continue forever. He then began to come out of his great meditation. When he did, he looked around and there was a great massive being, a giant in front of him, smiling very much satisfaction. This made Bogunathar between 150 to 160 years old. At the time, still in his physical body, this great being told him who he was, and he was the great Hatha yoga master called Gorthness, who had developed a great yoga called Sun and Moon, or Hatha. In Sanskrit, it means sun and moon. He looked at Bhaganathar and said, you've come a long, long way, Lamaji. Little master, it's time for you to go further. If you master the mind and if you master the breath, you can remain in the physical body forever. Bhaganathar heard music to his ears. It's as if the vision of God was manifesting himself in the physical domain. Here was a being that was eternal. How could this be? This being was eternal. If he was still in existence, he would have to be 12,000 years old. Was he seeing a mirage? Or was he seeing a person who had developed as Jesus did after the resurrection? Ah. Oh. Maybe the eternal golden body. Had he created the golden light from his body to create an immortal body? The next thing he knew, Bhaganathar looked at Gorthness slash Melchizedek was gone and perished into the atmosphere. He had dematerialized. Before he left, he looked down in the snow and he had drawn 12 people in ancient Sanskrit. 
he had told them, you teach 12 beings what I am passing down to you. Over the next 50 to 100 years, the Lama would begin to become the first Lamaji to teach 12 masters and to do what he could. He did, and it took him a good 100 years for that to happen. Then one day, when all 12 of the masters were together, they were praising the teachings of Bhagavanatha and said, Bhagavanatha, I need to go down the mountain, says, I will see you very soon. As he trekked down the mountain, his body elevated into the atmosphere, turning into a ball of golden light, lifted up into the heavens, and ascended into the sky, just like Enoch did out of the Old Testament, and just like Christ Jesus did after the ascension of the resurrection. He had shown all human beings what our capability was, what we are here to do, all of us. This concept of reincarnation and recycling the body was a temporal fix at best. This was not the source. We were meant to live here for a long, long time. One life, one body, forever. Figuring it out while in the physical body, and that's what they, the Lamas, begin to do. Wow, that's real powerful when you think about it, yes? So make sure that you click down at the link or you can go to the circle of cheat.com slash store and you can get our new copy. From time to time, we'll be reading excerpts from the new book. Of course, if you decide to come to one of our Ascension tours, you can also find out that. On the Circle of Chi, you can get an autographed copy and our DVD, which is also the audible of all the words read. And when you're listening to the Lama speak and reading the words, boy, your level of absorption of the content completely goes off the chart. So happy that you dropped in with us today. I know you're going to have a wonderful weekend. When the week comes, let's make it the best week ever. This weekend, try to focus on a loved one. Try to be a blessing to someone that cannot be a blessing to themselves. Remember, Abba is expanding his creation through you on earth through us as it is in his heaven, on earth through us as it is in his heaven. We're to be <clears throat> his arms, his legs, his feet, his hands. Have the heart of Jesus and share what you can. Let's learn to love one another as the heavenly father and his son. And his Holy Spirit has always loved us. Baraka Bashai, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode of Rasaji Speaks. Bright and early Monday, please don't be late. We love to have you there. Look forward to seeing you next week in Charleston if you can be there. And if you want to be there, email Kara Posick, P O S S I C K, at gmail.com. She just might have a ticket just for you. Namaste. God bless. We'll see you really soon. 
in the world of the chi, God's energy. God bless you all. See you soon.